morning, Dr. Sekouma and everyone. Welcome to this press conference to update you on plans for the World Prayer Music Festival 2022 edition, coming for October 28th to the 30th at the Windsor Park Sports Team. We'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our value sponsors of the World Prayer Music Festival this year. We have our presenting sponsor, the Government of Dominica and Discover Dominica Charity. Our headline sponsor, Digicel Dominica. Our silver sponsors, Tropical Shipping and Food the Ridge. Our bronze sponsor, the Premier Bank, National Bank of Dominica. Our corporate sponsor, Tranquility Beach, Belfast Estate and Kuguli. And our special mention sponsors, Gawasco, Domlek and Kuguli. We'd like to extend a hearty thank you to all our sponsors for coming on board to make this year's World Prayer Music Festival a member of the world. At this morning's press conference, we will update you on the night lineup, which was released earlier this week. We will also invite the curators of the VIP experience to speak to you some more about what to expect at the Coastal Village VIP experience at the festival this week. And we will also be announcing another sponsor for the World Prayer Music Festival. So at this point, I would like to invite our destination marketing manager, Skipper King, to come and address us on the night lineup for the World Prayer Music Festival. Skip.
so much, Emily. At this point, we would like to invite Cecilia Centile of Nesconex Production to give us some more information of what we can expect at the Village VIP and the Party VIP, the Village VIP and the Party VIP at this year's World Creole Music Festival. Cecilia? Thank you, Emily. Good morning, all. Good morning to my colleagues. And I consider them colleagues at um, the Festival Station. We're on a journey again. We did this once before. Uh, Next Connects hosting and producing and curating the VVIP in 2019. I think that that experience was amazing. I think it surpassed um, the patrons' expectations. So we have a very high bar to jump again. We intend to do that and do it well. Um, we have lots of exciting things planned. The, this year's theme is the coastal village theme. We're going to try to feature the underwater of Dominica, the champagnes of the world, the flora, the fauna. Um, again, we will have a village-like experience in terms of what is being served to eat. We spend a lot of time putting the menus together to ensure that we create a journey, a three-day journey, a cultural, musical, and culinary experience over the three days while we're in the VVIP. The response has been amazing. I think as of today, the um, VVIP season and nightly passes were sold out within a week and a half of the launch. And I believe as of today, we will be officially sold out on the PVIP, which is um, the party PVIP for the season pass, and I believe Saturday is sold out. So that means that it's Saturday, so the season passes will go to. So now, what's available is Friday, PVIP nightly, and Sunday, PVIP nightly. So we've been getting lots of questions about what's the difference, right? The difference between the VVIP and the PVIP is essentially um, the fact that the VVIP will be pampered a little more, as they should. And they will also have access to some spaces that are very special and some experiences that are just unique for the PVIP. In the end, everyone will gather on the PVIP grounds, which is front stage access, where there will be lots of bars, lots of food, but, um, and where the party will be. This year, we introduced a brand new concept. Um, we're doing an amphitheater. We know that Pearl Festival is a very long haul, lots of hours. So we're featuring this amphitheater so that you can go in there, you can relax, and you'll have waiter service. It will be like sitting in a restaurant, there'll be big screen televisions, everything will be wired to the VVIPs getting all the feet from the stage. And um, folks can relax. We will have a lot of special treats which I will not release here. We want the surprise factor and we know that when walk in, you're going to go out. So to our patrons and those that believe in us that have really sold out this thing quicker than we ever expected, we say thank you. We thank the um, Dominica Festival Commission and Mr. the Colin Piper and the Board of Directors for selecting us again. We consider ourselves part of the team. It is, we have been hired by the BFC to do this job. We will do it well and we will work well with them. Thank you so much.
presenters are also inquiring about where they should stay for the World Prayer Music Festival. Persons can log on to bookingdominica.com to get information on where to stay. We have asked persons with apartments and empty houses to register with us so that um, we can add their accommodation on the listing to be placed on our website. Now there is a process in which we have to do that. So first you register with, with us, that's the first step. You contact the DSC, you contact EPA, you can call us at 255-8221, or you can send an email to mchouse at dominica.dm with your information. Then we will collect all this information, then come to visit your property to make sure that it's up to standard and ready to accommodate our visitors because we do want all these trips to have a wonderful experience when it comes to Dominic. Another avenue to book a place to stay for the festival is to contact our tourism concierge offices. So you can contact our tourism concierge officers at 275-7293 or 275-7298 and they will, be, they will be more than willing to assist you in finding a place to stay for the festival. At this point, we would like to announce that Belfast State and Kubuli are coming on board with us as business sponsors. They're coming on board with us as corporate sponsors, rather. Belfast State and Kubuli are coming on board with us as corporate sponsors, and they will also be with us at our board sports and meetings coming up or promotion for the Dominic Stadium. So we should thank Belfast State and Kubuli for coming on board with us as corporate sponsors of the World Trail Music Festival. At this point in time, we would like to invite Mr. Kelvin John Baptist, who is the event assistant, to speak about the hotspot, the Dominic Stadium hotspot. Thank you so much, Ms. Vidal, and good morning to the listening public and those on the media. Good morning to Destination Taxi Manager, Ms. Kimberly King, Ms. Daphne Vidal, Project Officer, and Ms. Special, Ms. Cecilia Centelier, our VIP Experience Manager and Coordinator. Thank you for being here, and good morning. So we're back again this year with the FEMA hotspots. In 2019, we introduced the hotspots, going to the local bars, your favorite bars, and bringing the Creole Festival vibe energy to your favorite spot, basically. This year, we're back again. Um, we started last week, Friday, that is the 26th, at Lens Minimat in Belgium, and the patrons really, really enjoyed that experience. At, um, anyone who viewed it, that experience via the live, we'll see that we had ticket sales available. So the promotional ticket sales at 300 for the season pass is available at the hotspot. Also, patrons got a chance to ask, answer sorry, a question about the Creole Festival, gain more information, and got a chance to win. We had a few winners who got, actually our first spin for the night was a season ticket. We had a few who got nightly tickets and who also got prizes from our sponsor Josephine Gabriel and uh, Digicel, the headline sponsor. We have a few more hotspots that's going to come on and I'm just going to list them out for you right now. This Friday, that is the 2nd of September, we will have our hotspot at Point Michel at Chambers Bar, that's on the Hollywood stretch which will include our DJ Ambassador Selector Urban, so that's this Friday. On the 9th of September, we will be going to the Valley, that's Rosa Valley at Trafalgar at Viewpoint Bar, featuring our Ambassador DJ Snow. On the 16th of September, we will be at Jimmit at By Denver Bar and Grill. On the 23rd of September, we'll be Dubla, at West Seven Bar and Grill. On the 1st of October, we will be at Tulips in Portsmouth. 
on the 8th of October, we'll be in Marigat at last flight bar. On the 15th, we'll be in Budo at Ashills Bar and Grill. And on the 22nd, we'll sum up at Gables Bar in La Plain. So we really want to tell everyone to come out, and come to your favorite bar, have a drink, enjoy the energy that we're going to bring, the vibe. We will have information, more information again from VIP, any updates will come in form of a question or just basically we'll give you the information. If you aren't able to make it to the locations, you can also go to our Facebook page and that's done with the festivals and view the live. Uh, you never know, you might have a chance to win also on the live. So come out, enjoy. Again, remember this Friday we'll be in Point Michel at Chambers Bar. Come and win and experience a good time. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe, for that. So I, I would encourage all patrons to join us at the hotspot where it gets to your community or the area of focus where you live. At this time, we would like to invite our very special colleague from the Ministry of One Green Economy, Agriculture and National Security, Petra Grail Schillingberg, to come and speak to us about agriculture and planning. Petra, welcome. Good morning, good morning to all. Thank you very much for having the ministry um, represented here today. So once again, good morning to my colleagues, the media and guests. It's really a pleasure to be part of this activity. As Daphne said, my name is Petra Bershenford. I am communications officer for the ministry. And at this time, we are very happy to be part of this because this will enable our farmers and our fishers, agro-processors, and those who add value to products made in Africa to not only increase their income, but to showcase what they are really good at, what they are working hard and produce, and what they are proud of, that is nutritious and affordable foods here in Dominica. The rationale is to be here to remind the city vendors, the rural vendors, food establishments, supermarkets, events organizers, caterers, restaurants, and even housewives, who are obviously going to cater to their visitors, their family, that during this season, and we say season because we hope from October 15th at least, we're giving you that time, until November the 5th. For that season, local patrons, regional and international visitors can look forward to locally produced fruits, vegetable staples, and fish, meat, and even snacks. As we ourselves travel around the world, we notice that we always look for something different and unique in any territory that we visit. And we want to eat what is local, we want to drink what is local. And so this is the time for the patrons who come to Dominica, the visitors, the travelers, to get that experience, what the nature has to offer. And the way we think that we can do this successfully is by proper planning. So as we speak, we're in the, we're the cusp of September, we're asking everyone involved in food preparations, you should be formulating your meals the way that you want to present it, what you'd like to serve on those days, the quantities that you require. And if you need an increase, let's say, in your titiwi, your fresh fish, if you want to make a hot in your stew, or a soup, if you want to do a good broth, or a sandwich from um, or a smoked fish, and not imported fish, if you want to do a nice fresh breakfast with watercress, cucumbers, I hope everybody's mouth is watering, tomatoes, fresh eggs, etc. You're even going to go to snack for your visitors, you know, the chocolate, the cassava bread infused with ginger, honey, and some coconut shavings. We're saying your local banana bread. You need to have yourself prepped up because this is what you require, but you need it in additional amounts. And this you would need to do some planning, some preparation as to sauciness. And of course we have forgotten our fresh juices and in terms from our citrus, our local um, fruits. And of course most of the visitors want a little pep in their step to, to, make, to, make, to just to maintain themselves. So we're saying our local liquors, our rums, and also our drinks. So you would need planning for this. And so we're encouraging you we want to assure you that farmers are preparing that there will not be a shortage of vegetables, meats, and fish. That during this season, 
we ourselves have been making preparations behind the scenes. So the national abattoir, you will find an increase in the amount of fresh chicken and pork that is available for sale. Improving on the two Roseau, the two major fisheries complexes, both in Roseau, Marigold, and of course functioning in Portsmouth. So there's adequate fish storage, so no need to look for imported fish. We're saying we're making linkages with the Lion TTV, um, Lion Taru, sorry, TTV women who vend. We're making linkages with them to ensure that their storage is adequate and the fish days officers have been there to make sure. As you know, TTV is harvesting every month, a little lesson on the third quarter of the moon phase, it, it's time for harvest. So in September, we'll have fresh TTV and in October. So no need to be, be scrambling about the sale. I cannot get that on the menu. The Emergency Agriculture Livelihoods and Climate Resilience Project, better known as the World Bank Agriculture Project, which has provided assistance to farmers and fishers, has enabled an increase in the avail availability of all foods. So therefore, we expect reasonable prices and, of course, readily available foods. This Chinese technical mission has also assisted the ministry with introducing new varieties within our crop mix. So right now, you can find locally grown cantaloupes year-round. Improvement in the size of the bell, the sweet peppers, and the colors, as we like to say. Um, the cucumbers, very various varieties, and a shorter planting season for leafy, green leafy vegetables. So your lettuce will be available, your spinach, etc. So we are urging you not only to think outside the box, but challenge yourself to prepare a meal that is 100% Dominican. We want that to be on an island wide scale. So from the time the visitor arrives on at our airport or the seaport, they want to know they can stop at a shop in Marigot, they can go to Concord, Bell, Sylvania, throughout the city, and they can get a drink that is 100% local, a snack that is local, local bottled water, and a meal that is prepared and from local products. You can follow us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, the Ministry of Agri Blue and Green Economy, Agriculture and National Food Security. For more information and updates, we will do farmer profiling yeah, in terms of seasonings, meats, your, your ground provisions. You know where to go. Of course, breadfruit will be a staple during that time. So, of course, we're looking at buying and purchasing in volumes and quantities. So, you can follow us. We are in the process of um, having an app for that. So, like market information from vendors to farmers. But this isn't ready as yet, but we hope to have it on stream very, very soon. If you need sourcing of any, any materials, any product, any foods, do not hesitate to call the ministry, don't hesitate to call the speaker Bay extension officer, or you can always um, send us a message via Facebook, via our social media platforms. We'll be using our radio programs to promote what is local, and we do hope that because farmers have spent so much time and energy, that they can be rewarded, and that the rural livelihoods can be improved when it comes to what is local, what is natural for us here in Dominica. Thank you. Thank you so much, Petra, for that assurance that we will be able to get all our local Creole delicacies during the festive season. And we would just like to encourage our restaurant owners, our vendors, to go to the public to buy local and help us all to enjoy our local benefits. At this time, I'd like to invite Colin back up to the podium to talk about some upcoming events that will be taking place. And is that him back again? This weekend, as we continue setting the vibe and really uh, pushing the energy, uh, this weekend, we would like to speak about um, on September 3rd, PT Miami will have be having the Lights Out Last Pet event. So we'd like to ensure that you don't take part in this activity. You know, Dominica is a vibe, it's an experience. And we want us to understand that coming to Dominica is not just for the independent season or just the independence weekend or the Crow Festival weekend. No, take a longer stay. Spend more time here because there's a lot. There's a lot of things to do on the island. So this weekend we have the lights of event um, from Pitted Miami. Also at Pitted Miami, um, we'd like to let you know on October second they will have 
an event called Class and Culture, later featuring GBN Nutrin. So later on, they will be back to speak more about that event. Also, from Shirt Star Entertainment, the end of summer mega boat party, which will feature the unstoppable DJs, DJ Real Boss, and DJ MG. This will be happening on September 10th. That's Saturday, September 10th. That's boat party. And if you're interested in attending and getting tickets, you can reach out to Chemica at 316-0824. That is 316-0824. For persons who are interested in knowing more about our upcoming events on island, you can visit the Dominica Festivals page. Again, that's the dominicafestivals.com. Um, that's a new website. You know, it was it took about a year for us to put out to really ensure that we had all the I's done and T cross. And the website is really um, gorgeous, I might say. And it provides you a lot of information on the island. So you can go to the website, you can go all the way down, you see the upcoming events. Or you can scroll into any of the domains that is sleeping on whether the Creole Festival domain, the Carnival domain, or the Jazz domain to see information about past events. Or if you're looking or you're coming to the island and you're looking for to book a makeup artist, book a photographer, you can also go to um, the booking area and you can get information on makeup artists and uh, local entrepreneurs. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Corinne, and thank you to our destination marketing manager, Kimber the team, for joining us today. Also, Cecilia Sentile of the Expanix Production to give us some more information on what to expect at the VIP experience. We'd like to thank the media for coming out to cover this event today, and also a thank you to Petrobras Chili for the Ministry of Blue and Green Economy, Agriculture, National Food Security for joining us today at this press conference. We trust that we have provided you with more information about the World Creole Music Festival and what you can expect. And we look forward to you joining us again at our next press conference. We would once again like to acknowledge our sponsors and say a very special thank you to them. The Government of Dominica, Discover Dominica Authority, presenting sponsors, headline sponsor, Digicel, Silver Sponsors, Tropical Shipping and Polybury Ridge, Bronze Sponsor, Premier Bank, National Bank of Dominica, Corporate Sponsors, Tranquility Beach, Belfast Estate and Pupoli, Bronze and Special Mention Sponsor, Nova School, Dominica, and Thank you very much, everyone.